But let's talk about it. Fuck it. Makeup sex. Well, if you've never had it, let me tell you um, from experience, oh, it's definitely enjoyable. The connection seems to be a little more there. The, the amount of love that's in the room is serious. It's high, high level. The enjoyment of a spiritual connection between two gets even better than it ever has been. And it could really, it could really do, <clears throat> it could do a lot of good. Is it always good though? Is makeup sex a good thing? Because when I asked that on Instagram, I kind of got some mixed reviews, and I didn't really know which way I was going to look at it um, myself personally. And I, instead of, you know, being persuaded to, you know, making people answer a certain way, I just wanted to see generally what people thought. And it comes to no surprise. Uh, people are into it. Because... <laughs> It's um, it helps get over a, a a stressful time with your whatever significant other, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. Hmm. But I just want to throw one thing out real quick. What if we don't have to have makeup sex? What if there is no makeup sex? What if we don't have to fight to make up? Why do we have to fight? Why are we having makeup sex at all? Some women will be honest and just tell the truth. Um, and that's okay if you don't want to. We know. What if we, what, what if we didn't? You know what what if, what if we didn't have to make up? Maybe we never experienced that. You know, maybe you, you would say that that's not a real couple. That's not a real relationship. A real relationship is supposed to fight. Well, if we're supposed to fight, then fuck. I guess makeup sex is the inevitable. I think that the problem with makeup sex a lot of times is that we will get into uh, a, an argument or a fight and we don't hash out that. Because there's the communication is so distorted and fucked off that we end up having sex. So then we, we end up having a good time and enjoying each other's company. And we look past, <clears throat> excuse me, that little problem, that little argument. And by looking past that argument, we're starting to move forward in the relationship. We're moving backwards. We're moving forward with our lively, our, our day-to-day lives. But in the relationship, we're moving backwards because we didn't really grow or gain from the problem. We just said, fuck it, let's have sex, bust a nut, and get on, get on with our life. So, you know, sometimes makeup sex, um, it ain't going to help if we, ain't get, if we didn't get it right. You know, um, during an argument, there's a lot of times where he's trying to be right or she's trying to be right or she's trying to be right. You know, he's trying to be right like... It's not about who's being right. It's about getting it right, not about being right. And if you could work out those differences the right way, then have sex. (laughs) Boy, boy, (laughs) that make up sex. Oh, man, let me tell you. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, I was lost in the sauce. Don't worry about me. I just want to think about that. I just want y'all to think about that. Um, if we're going to be doing makeup sex, let's make sure we make up. Let's make sure we do it the right way. We can't just keep prolonging this problem and situation and just eventually the next time we get an argument, you bring up the same problem and issue. Um, and and we, we didn't grow from this. We, we didn't heal from this. We didn't move forward from this. You know what I mean? Y'all have a good night.